Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And in this uh, video, we're going to discuss the Cell Pro Power Lab 8. We get a lot of uh, requests for information on these. Um, this company makes several models. We happen to have uh, a few of the Power Lab 8s, so that's the only one that I am really familiar with. And so I imagine the, the Power Lab 6 is similar. So there's confusion in how these things operate. So uh, it's, we've had these uh, uh, quite a few years, and so I don't remember reading the directions. If I remember correctly, they were somewhat uh, confusing. So we just kind of figured it out on our own what we wanted it to do. And so this is what I think you want it to do also. And that is you want to be able to take your lithium cell. This is a Calp CA series 100 amp per hour cell. But it uh, doesn't really matter. Here's a high power 100 amp per hour cell. We have The GBS 100 amp per hour cell. So, bottom line is we want to bottom balance these cells for our electric vehicle conversion. That's the objective. And we want to do it using the Cell Pro Power Lab. So, what we're going to need to do that is you got to have your cells that you're going to bottom balance, of course. You need to have the Power Lab. And I recommend a lead acid battery. This 12 volt lead acid battery is going to power this power lab. So I'll connect it now using the alligator clips. Comes up, this particular one says Power Lab 8 version 2 firmware firmware version 3.25 and as we go on I'll, I'll zoom in on this so you can get a better look so the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is connect to our battery to be bo bottom balanced now I don't recommend the alligator clips you just don't get a good consistent connection and so we put the ring terminals on them. These are the small rings for the GBS cells and these are the larger rings right here for the Calb cells and the high power and so forth. So we're going to connect these to our cell. And just so that my bolt doesn't bottom out, I have uh, a few washers on here. So I've got two washers above and one below my ring terminal here. Snug those down. Now we're ready to go. So this is the part that you've been waiting for, is how do I operate and program the power lab to discharge this battery to a certain voltage level to where it will discharge it and shut off. So whether I'm here or not, it doesn't matter. It's going to, you know, take this down to the, my desired voltage and disconnect, quick, quick discharging. So let's take a close up view and walk through that. So as I mentioned earlier, you can see the screen that comes up when I first connect power to the Cell Pro Power Lab. So, you'll notice it says press both for options. So this is basically um, decrease and increase our, on our option screen here. This is back and this is enter. And so we're going to press both of these. 
simultaneously. And when we do that, it says choose task. And you can go to pre preset settings. You can go to button help. So I'm just scrolling through manage presets, charger options, preset settings again. So you can see, and I can walk through them backwards. Those are my options. Okay? So, I'm going to go to preset settings. I'm going to select that by hitting enter. So now it's going to say, it says set amps at 5 milliamp increments. Yeah, I don't care. I could, I could choose yes or no. So we're just going to choose yes. Set charge rate. Well, again, we're discharging, so the charge rate doesn't matter to us. Enter. Cell level charge voltage. Again, doesn't matter to us. I've got it at 3.5. Sound three beeps that fuel up, you know, don't care. Balance entire charge. Well, a lot of these options are specific to smaller cells that you would use uh, in the RC world. Again, we're not concerned about that. So, you know, cold weather set point. Well, again, here in California, I'm not concerned about that either. But you can see, you could, you know, adjust it. They give you options. You can have none, 32, 41, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm always above those. Set discharge rate. Now, you can go through, and like I said, it's going to give you the option to do that all the way up to 40 amps. We find that these... Uh, cables that uh, that are included they have a 40 amp fuse on them but these wires will get hot at 30 amps so hot you can't touch it so we tend to go at, at, at a 30 amp rate uh, just because it seems like things are a little more sized for that rate you can do 40 you can do 20 you can do whatever you want just showing you how to do it. So that's where we'd select that. So we're going to hit enter. We're going to do that at the 30 amp rate. That's the discharge rate. Then it says cell level discharge voltage. This is the key one. This is the one that you will change throughout your bottom balancing procedure. For that procedure, check out uh, uh, some of our other videos. Not going through that today. Today. We're just showing you how to operate the Cell Pro Power Lab 8. So we can change that. So if I wanted to, you know, go to 2.65 volts, there you have it. I'd hit enter. I happen to want to do it at 2.5 this time, so I'm going to go back down. And that's the minimum. I can't go below 2.5. And that's good because you discharge the cell below 2.5 you're going to do damage to it. So I hit enter. That's selected. If I want to go back, change my mind, just hit the back button. Set cycling. Well, no cycling. We're not going to do any cycling. In cycling with discharge, you know, you can take a look at what your options are. You could have it to where it discharged. When it finished discharge, it would start to charge again. We're only discharging this. That's all we're concerned about. We're wanting to take this down to a, a certain level. And so any of the other features of this power lab, we're not interested in at this time. And that's not what this video is about. So we get all the way back around. It says choose task preset settings. Well, we chose everything that we wanted to choose. We chosen the minimum voltage that we want to discharge to and we chose the discharge rate. Those are the two things that I'm concerned about. So now, how do I make it actually do that? Well now we're going to press these two buttons together. The inner and the back. I'm going to hold those down at the same time. And it'll go 
to this setting right here. Uh, this is just what we had it on, but we'll walk through and you can see what the different ones are. So this is a LiPo generic um, set at uh, 30 amps, but we can scroll through these different ones. Li LiPo generic, two fast charge. There's presets that you can set yourself that you would do from that other screen that we saw. Um, and so let me just go to that real quick, show you what we're talking about. Um, the preset settings, manage presets, charger options, so forth. Well, you could go to these manage presets and you can, you know, go in and find, uh, you know, an empty one and set it up. Not going to go into all that. We don't care. So, just showing you some of the, you know, options that they have. This is the option that we choose. We'll get back around to it. Right there. We want the LiPo generic high power. Not going to do any balance cycling or anything. So we're going to select that. And this parallel packs. Well, again, that's the RC world. We don't have any parallel packs to deal with. Set charge rate. Again, we're not charging. We're discharging, so we don't care about that. Now this is the one we care about. Set discharge rate, 30 amps. Then you get to this screen, start. Charge only, again, we don't want to charge. So we're gonna to go to our selection over here. We can monitor, we can read in just charge only, or charge only. Those are our options. Well, we don't want to monitor, we don't want to charge. So it kind of shows us that that's the one we want. I'm going to hit that. What that's going to do is it's going to take energy out of our um, cell that we're bottom balancing, that we're discharging, and put it into our supply cell, that 12 volt battery that's powering this. So, select that. Use banana jacks. That's the jacks that we have coming out of here. So that's a yes. It's checking the pack. It's making sure that Everything's connected. It's reading that there's a cell there and everything. Now I'm going to press enter. And so it's showing me that it's going to regenerative discharge set at 30 amps. And it's going to take it down to 2.5 volts. So in a moment here, uh, it'll, it'll start, uh, it, it walks through a little sequence first, then it starts discharging. In a few moments after it starts discharging, the fan comes on. And you can hear the fan come on. But you can also, if you're touching the cell terminals, you'll feel them start to get warm and your, your wires will get warm. Like I said, they will get to the point where I can't grip them like this. And they're getting there rather quickly. They get so hot that, you know, down here it's not bad, but up here closer to the terminals. So anyway, that's the Cell Pro Power Lab 8 operation in conjunction with discharging one of our cells that is for use in our electric vehicle conversion. Now, if we want to stop this thing for whatever reason, just like it says, press to start, hold to stop. 
So I'm just going to hold it down. Discharge stopped. To restart it, I'm going to hit enter. Go back through those selections. Go down to the regenerative discharge only. Enter. Banana jacks, yes. Checks my pack. Hit enter to confirm. And away it goes. Again, it runs through a little check sequence. It, then it starts to discharge. When it reaches a certain temperature in the discharge, the fan will come on and you can hear that. There it goes. That kind of lets me know everything's working the way it should. I can put a meter on here and watch the voltage uh, uh, drop, but that's like watching paint dry. Anyway, that's our quick little instructional video on using the Cell Pro Power Lab 8. Hope you find that helpful. And as always, please don't leave any questions or comments on the YouTube channel. Um, instead, email us at info at ev4unow.com. We'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. And if you want to learn more about the batteries, bottom balancing, and an EV in, in general, you can attend one of our three-day hands-on conversion workshops where we go through the entire thing. And in addition to the classroom instruction, we spend time in the shop and you get to have hands-on on all these uh, goodies from uh, using the Cell Pro Power Lab 8 to uh, adapters and couplers, so forth. To the point where in that three days, we convert a VW powered gasoline powered sand rail to electric. And that's just kind of done on the side from the classroom and shop instructional stuff. You actually put that to use by converting this sand rail to electric. And then the last thing that we do then is we have a test track. Um, I don't know, it's five to ten acres. Uh, and we go out and just run it till the batteries go dead. So I hope you join us and uh, have some fun and learn something at the same time. See ya.